So after the usual non-stop assault of booze and shit TV this holiday season, my brain basically feels like it's trickling out of my nostrils. And if you're suffering from the same fate, then no worries. As long as you own a Nintendo Switch, that is, because here's my roundup of the very best point-and-click adventures and puzzle games that you can buy for the Nintendo Switch in 2020 to help that old head meet firm back up again. And for more on the latest, greatest games and tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up is Return of the Obra Din, and definitely don't be put off by the throwback monochrome visuals which could have come straight out of a Spectrum game. The Return of the Obra Din is one of the best adventure games of recent times and a definite highlight on the Nintendo Switch store. Also don't be dissuaded by the fact that you basically play the game as an insurance pleb. Your mission, which involves exploring a ghost ship and investigating what happened to the missing crew, is utterly absorbent, not to mention the kind of thing that definitely lingers in the mind long after the game is finally finished. One of the other best adventure games that you can buy for the Nintendo Switch right now is Thimbleweed Park. This surreal murder mystery casts you as a diverse selection of characters from detectives with murky intentions to a sweary clown and even a melancholic ghost as a mysterious murder brings them all together in a very classic point and click adventure. Ron Gilbert was involved in the creation so you get the same darkly humorous tone of Monkey Island just in a more modern setting and you even get an old school actions panel for interacting with the world something we haven't seen in quite some time. The nostalgia is certainly right, for though the gameplay and the plot both feel brilliantly fresh. Now one of my favourite Nintendo Switch point and click adventures from 2019 has to be Nairi Tower of Shirin, a cute yet absorbent adventure that's perfect for cozying up in the long winter evenings. You play as the titular character who finds her comfortable if rather dull existence kicked right in the soft bit when a mysterious gang attacks her family in the dead of night. There's plenty of narrative to work your way through at the beginning of the game, but things do pick up quickly once Nairi gets out in the real world. I absolutely love the colourful cast of characters and that quaint Japanese style hand-drawn presentation. Tower of Shirin has charm oozing out of every pore, yet some of the puzzles are pretty challenging which was definitely unexpected and rather pleasing. Now I've got to say I was jollier than a room full of coked up Santas when a remastered version of point and click masterpiece Shadowgate finally landed on the Nintendo Switch store. This is an absolutely essential fantasy adventure. The story is typically simple, but that's more than made up for by the gorgeous artwork and that immersive atmosphere. The further you venture into those shadowy halls and dungeons, the more oppressive this game really feels. A sprawling map and plenty of challenging puzzles await, and if you're anything like me, you will die over and over and over again. But that certainly shouldn't stop you from picking yourself up and battling on because Shadowgate is definitely one of the most enjoyable adventures right now on the Nintendo Switch. Now if you find yourself longing for more classic 2D point and click adventures like those Lucas R gems of yesteryear, you can definitely do worse than the Deponia series. These tongue-in-cheek sci-fi titles aren't as tough as the likes of Monkey Island, but they definitely have a good sense of humour, charting one hapless and obnoxious fella's attempts to escape his dump of a home and make it to the promised land of Elysium. From the ridiculous situations you find yourself in to those colourful cartoon graphics, there's plenty to enjoy here, even if adventure veterans probably won't be tested too hard. After a bit of pure puzzling goodness instead, well, you might want to check out the Nintendo Switch version of the Talos Principle, which serves up a seemingly endless stream of logical brain teasers to overcome. You don't have to wear your best thinking pants to get through them all without resorting to a walkthrough. Things get seriously difficult as you progress. But at least you can always take a break to admire the pretty scenery if you do find yourself stuck. And another game that places a strong emphasis on puzzles over story is Layton's Mystery Journey, which hit the 3DS and smartphones way back in 2017 and finally got a global Switch release at the arse end of 2019. This time around you play as Professor Layton's daughter, Kat, as she searches for a lost pop. The characters and animation are as charming as ever and the puzzles themselves are, for the most part, clever and addictive, with plenty of hint coins strewn about the place to help out in a pinch. It's a good sized game as well, so you'll probably be puzzling well into 2020 with this one. And while we're on the subject, there are two other great puzzle based series that started life on smartphones and then transitioned to the Nintendo Switch, and they are The Room and The House of Da Vinci. And both of them work beautifully on Nintendo's console with its full touchscreen controls. If you're into more intricate puzzles involving complex mechanisms, then definitely check them out. Now, one of my favourite adventure game heroes from the Nintendo 3DS days is definitely the spiky head courtroom legend himself, Phoenix Wright. And and if you're yet to get involved with these games then you definitely owe it to yourself to download the Ace Attorney Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch. All manner of cases await your shrewd investigatory skills, most of them involve a murder most horrid. But once you've gathered the evidence you also have to keep your cool in court and prove your client innocent. It's utterly bonkers, frequently funny and rather challenging too. Now while it's admittedly more of an action adventure game, I also absolutely had to include Luigi's Mansion 3 in this roundup of the best Switch adventures. This third ghostly romp is absolutely 
packed full of imaginative puzzles to solve as you battle your way through the most bonkers hotel in existence. Not only can you use your super powered vacuum cleaner to suck and blow everything in sight, but Luigi also has the power to conjure up a gooey blobby version of himself on demand, and this can squeeze into places that the fleshy bony version of Luigi definitely cannot. If you want to track down every secret, definitely be prepared for some serious migraines. And another action adventure title that is well deserving of a spot in this roundup is the polished up Nintendo Switch re-release of Link's Awakening. This is the same classic title through and through, with a lick of paint and improved controls, and it's just as addictive as the original Game Boy release. I've got to admit, I definitely still prefer this simple straightforward 2D Zelda games of yesteryear to the sprawling 3D modern affairs like Breath of the Wild. At no point do you have to spend an entire bloody hour navigating a mountain pass while keeping yourself warm, stopping your horse from doing a runner, and trying to dodge lightning bolts. Link's Awakening is still a lean and beautifully paced effort and those dungeons will tax even the smartest of gamers, especially as you near the end of the adventure. So those are my absolute favourite, best of the best, point and click and puzzle based adventure games as we stroll into 2020 for the Nintendo Switch, but I'd also like to give a shout out to a few other well deserving titles that you should definitely check out if you're a fan of the genre. So first up we've got a classic bit of FMV based shenanigans in the shapeshifting detective. There's not real puzzles to solve in this adventure, you simply have to chat with the many characters to work out their secrets and figure out which one is responsible for some nasty grisly murders happening around a quaint English village. However, the game does have a killer twist. At any point you can transform into any of the other characters that you've met simply by returning to your hotel room, which is very handy indeed when you're trying to learn people's hidden motives and secret alliances. I'd also like to big up the normal lost phone games, which have you hacking your way into a smartphone that you found in the street. As you worm your way into the previous owner's accounts and messages, you uncover more of their backstory and find out what actually happened to them. It's a great concept for a game and it works beautifully in both of these titles. If you have a quirky and slightly morbid sense of humour, then I definitely recommend checking out Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. This is yet another classic point and click adventure re-released on the Nintendo Switch to confound a whole new generation. It's a tough one for sure, but I love the darkly comic story and the rather twisted characters who definitely make this game rather unique and memorable. For a more somber experience, try taking a look at The Last Door, a pixelated horror adventure with a serious old school vibe. This harrowing tale could have sprung straight out of the mind of Edgar Allan Poe himself, and despite those low res graphics, The Last Door certainly has the power to shock and surprise. Those puzzles aren't too taxing, but the suspenseful narrative more than makes up for it. And last up, I quite enjoyed Agent A, which is a fun little romp filled with all kinds of environmental puzzles. You play as a British spy tasked with taking down a devious enemy by breaking into her homestead, but it soon goes pear-shaped and you find yourself caught up in a deadly trap instead. Each episode offers a proper challenge and you'll need to fully explore each location and solve some serious brain scratches to make it to the final credits. So there you go, that right there is my definitive list of the absolutely essential point and click and puzzle adventure games that you should download if you've got a Nintendo Switch right now. Of course, if you also love a bit of puzzle and adventure action, chances are I've missed out one of your own personal favourites, so definitely feel free to call me a derby down in the comments and clue us all into what your own personal picks are. And for more on the latest, greatest tech and games, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers!